guys, and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks uh, tutorial for uh, Amp Creator. So today what we're going to be doing is making an animated strip and basically importing it into Amp Creator so we can kind of see how that whole process works. So I, like all other things, use uh, paint.net for all my um, editing, graphic ed graphics editing and stuff like that for photos and stuff. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it on this particular program. Um, I don't use GIMP or um, uh, Photoshop or anything like that. I strictly use this particular thing. I only use GIMP when I need to make DDS because this program doesn't really support that. So without that being said, so let's get into how to make an animated strip. The first step is actually animating it. So. Uh, first thing that we're going to need to do is create a uh, new image and we're going to have to double the size of our original image. So this one currently is 16 by 16 so we're going to need a 32 by 32. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this uh, original image. We're just going to clear all this so it's transparent. And uh, what we're going to do here is move the image just a little bit over, a uh, few pixels, and then we're going to basically move that little edge part, say if we move it down, and then we need to update the part that moved over the 16 by 16 to the top or whatever direction we moved it from. So to do that, uh, we also need a new image. For our animated strip. Now the height will vary, but uh, the width should stay the same. So I'm going to start with 64, uh, 64 uh, pixels in height. That should do exactly uh, four images. That will be probably enough to get started, and then we can always add on to it. But we have to add an additional 16 each time we want to add a frame. So I'm going to start with uh, 64 and then we're going to start our first frame with always our default image. So I'm going to place that up here and that's going to be the first starting point of the animation. Uh, it's going to also go down in a row like this. It's not going to be random or anything. So it's going to start here, next 16, next 16, and the final 16 until it runs out and then it will cycle back to the top. So. Now that we have that, I want to animate this so it kind of moves kind of like if there's wind. So to do that, I'm going to just select it and then we can go to the um, move selected tool and then we're going to move it probably about two pixels, that should be enough. And then what we want to do is take the part on this side because we moved it this direction. We want to take this part because it's over the 16 barrier and we want to just move that back to the start. So that will um, basically move it a little bit that way. And then we're gonna grab that, copy it. Uh, to remind you, uh, Control C will copy it and Control V will paste it. So we're gonna bring that down to the next frame here. And that's two frames complete. So then what we're gonna do is uh, move it probably one more over. So again, we want the blue move select tool and then we're gonna move it over about two pixels. And then we're gonna copy these pixels here and we're gonna move it back to the start. And then what we're gonna do is paste that in just below, make sure overlap the um, other pixels and you should be good. And now what we're gonna do is move down. So I wanna select it, make sure it's 16. And then we're gonna move it one, two. And then we're going to actually select that and move that to the top. Select the whole thing again. And we're gonna paste it in, drag it down to the bottom. All right, so obviously I don't have enough to continue the animation. So what I'm gonna do is add additional, um, go to canvas size, so image. So we're gonna go to image, canvas size, and then we're gonna select the uh, very top middle one. Uh, now this will basically increase the image uh, downwards. So it will keep everything at the top. If it was like that, it would expand, expand it upwards. 
so we want it downwards so we're gonna go and double this number to 128 and that will add more about four more um, for more uh, actual frames that we can use. So, trying to keep track of what ones I did. Let's just double check. Um, I'm gonna copy that just in case. Just see if we have the same thing. Yeah, we have the same one there, so that's good. Okay, so now we can move this down. I think we went that way, so we're going downwards now. I think. Um, and, okay, so we an original, and then we moved left, no, right, right, and then down. So we're going down one more. And uh, we want, okay, so I got the down direction all set up. So now what we're going to want to do is go uh, back to the left. So what we're going to do is... Uh, go back to our animation clip and we're going to um, move it to the other side so we can go to the left and then what we're going to do is move it two pixels to the left and then we're going to go down. Now depending on how smooth you want your animation to be um, you can vary on how many pixels you want to move it um, it really depends on how um, choppy your image you want to be. So if you wanted to update it, um, basically every pixel that would be possible. But I'm just to speed up the process. I'm just doing it every uh, two pixels. So we're just going to move it back to the left hand side now, and we're going to select that again and move it to over here. And you can also animate it in a different way too. Uh, if you have just a solid block, you can basically do this and update the pixels for a single area as well. I'll kind of cover that in just a second. So we're just going to copy that. I'm going to basically finish this up and then I'll do a presentation on the, the other technique that you can do for animation as well. All right, so now that I got all this done, um, basically what this is, is like a full animation strip. So it's basically kind of like how fireworks um, or water textures, you would do something very similar to this if you're doing a water animation or, um, for example, we're making leaves basically kind of whoosh in the wind kind of texture. This would be more for that kind of particular thing. However, there are different animations you can do. For example, um, if we create a very simple um, new strip for, we'll do, for example, a, uh, let's see here, probably 64 would be fine for the example. And then what we're gonna do is just uh, create a basic box to work with. Um, over on this thing so I need that and then I'm going to set it to that I'm just going to basically have a square box and probably have an outline so pretend this is your original texture for your your block and you want to add some fancy lights to this machine maybe a couple um, red ones, maybe a green one or whatever, uh, some green ones over there. And you want to animate that so it basically updates the lights um, on a, a loop. So what you can do is actually go over here and you can just copy your texture a few times like this. And what you do from there is you update the, the lights themselves. So you could do something like this and then goes back to that. And then maybe it goes to that and then it would go and cycle between the two and what this is going to do is update the, the lights 
uh, down. So once you get all that done, I'm just going to export or save these as um, save as, and then we're going to go to our desktop just to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to say animated leaves uh, one. Uh, this will be our first animated texture that we're going to be creating and just make sure to save it as a PNG. That's important. And this one is going to be our animated texture two. So we're going to save that as two, make sure it's PNG and save. So now that we got that done, I'm going to quickly open up M Creator and then we'll get uh, into actually importing the animated strips. Okay, so I have a just a general workspace. I've been working on a loot, uh, trying to figure out the loot, um, the new loot table thing that's set up. It's just a general workspace for testing things. So we're actually going to go to resources, um, textures, and then what we're going to do is import, is it? No, we want to go to create. And then there's a create an animated texture right down here. You can also press control shift, I think that's B or no, eight, sorry, control shift eight. And then you're gonna open up the texture thing at, like the texture creator. And what this is going to do is allow you three different options. Uh, you can create uh, or add frames for individual images. That does take a long time to set up, but is possible if you have a image that is say 16 by 16 and so on. That's fine, but it's not always the best to do that because it gets broken up and it's hard to keep track and stuff like that. Um, animated frames from template, template, that's basically the first thing that, but with uh, template images. Um, animation frames from animation strip. This is what we're going to be doing and animation from GIF. So that's like animated images. So we're going to use this one right here. We're going to select our texture strip. So we're going to go to our desktop. We're going to select one and then open. And uh, we don't need to worry about any of these things here. We just want to leave pretty much all this default if you want it to keep the same coloring and all that other stuff. So we're just going to click add and all our frames are going to be lined up here. So to test uh, the speed and everything, what we're going to do is go like that. Uh, we might want to slow it down a little bit. We can slow it down by basically taking the duration up here and in increasing it by, uh, I believe it's uh, every 20 is one second. So we can do something like that or 10, something that would probably go a little bit slower. We can try um, maybe 20, 20 might be a little bit too slow. It depends on what you're doing as well. So for the second one, like somewhere around eight or something would probably be good for this. And basically it just goes in a loop. It doesn't um, basically stop. So there's no way to stop the thing. This is kind of like how kelp is animated. So it's basically exactly that. So to do that, we just want to save it and we're going to save it as a block or item, depending on what texture you have and you want to give it a name. So I'm going to call it animated uh, one. And we want to save it as 16 by 16, although you can choose different uh, sizes here. This is a 16 by 16 texture. So we want to save it as that. And uh, we can also uh, close out of that quickly. And then we're going to go and create another one just to demonstrate the other type of strip. So texture animated to and add. So if we go and uh, play this, as you can see, the lights kind of flicker. We can slow that down if we wanted to. So it's um, probably a little bit slower. So you know, the lights kind of go on and off and stuff like that. So you can do that as well if you wanted to. And you don't necessarily need to change the whole image in order for it to make an animated image. Like 
So hopefully you guys found uh, this tutorial helpful. I'm sorry it's a little bit longer. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but there was a lot to kind of cover with animated and it's a complex topic. And I know a lot of people wanted to actually know how to do this. So I tried to cover as much as I could. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.